Do you want to connect Amelia WordPress booking plugin with Zoom integration? Stay with us. Hi guys, and welcome back to our video tutorials. So, many bookings nowadays require some online bookings appointment and some software to cover that online services. So, in this video, we will show you how Amelia can integrate with Zoom and how you can configure it to work on your website. Alexander, please guide us through. Of course. Um, many of you guys used Zoom in the past, but since uh, June 1st, 2023, uh, the JWT application that we used previously has been deprecated, so there's a new method. The new method is server to server OAuth application, however that's pronounced. So, um, <clears throat> what you need to do is go to marketplace.zoom.us and sign in or sign up if you're doing this for the first time. When you log in, you will be able to see your existing applications or create new ones. Now, let's build a new application here. Now, we're not looking for this. Uh, we're looking for this on the bottom, server to server. So, when we click create, you need to name it. So, let's name it Amelia Tutorial. Create the application, wait for it to load, and in here you already have the credentials that you need in Amelia. So let's do that right now. Under Amelia settings, go to integrations, zoom, and as I mentioned in the beginning, if you use the JWT app, it's been deprecated, and we recommend to switch to server to server uh, application. This will be removed in one of the, the upcoming updates, but for now you need to enable the server to server application. So in here, you need to copy the uh, account ID, you need to copy the client ID and the client secret. So paste that in here and save. This is not done yet. So if we go to the employees profile, you won't be able to see anything. For example, this employee, when you click on Zoom, you will see this, which is an old JWT, but the integration will not work. Now, what we need to do here is go and provide some information. So, uh, tutorial video, company name, TMS. My name is Alexander and I'm gonna use an existing test email account. So now click on continue. The feature can be skipped. There's nothing we need to do with that. This we need to do, we need to add scopes. Now, <clears throat> if you search for scopes through here, it won't help a lot. View does nothing. Now, you're looking under meeting and under users. So, under meeting, you need to select view all user meetings. Scroll down a bit and then enable view and manage all user meetings. Now, this allows the application to view and manage the user meetings. So, Amelia can actually create a Zoom meeting. Under user, you need to enable view all user information and view users information and manage users. Once you click on done, you will see the four scopes created in here and you can click on continue. The last step is to activate the application. Once you see the green check mark and the congratulations pop up right here, you're ready. So now when we refresh the page and access one of the employees here, we can select a Zoom user and save, and that is it. So now when we create an appointment with this employee, let's just make sure that Zoom is enabled. So <clears throat> for example, shaving the employee, let's add Michael Jones here, and under settings, integrations, make sure that Zoom is enabled. So we enable that, we go back to employees just to see if Michael maybe has uh -huh. been assigned to different services in the working hours. No, he's assigned to all these assigned services. So we can create an appointment from the back end. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you how it works. So when we create a new appointment, let's choose Dave Dawson. Employee is Michael Jones. Service is shaving. Date is... June 23rd at 5.20 a.m. <laughs> yeah, okay. really nice time for the, for the point. Yeah, for the shaving, yeah. Uh, well rested 
uh, <clears throat> Barbara is going to shave you at 5.20 a.m. Okay, so this is da Dave Dawson with Michael Jones. When we click on that, you will see the Start Zoom meeting. And here in the bottom, you can see the URL. So this is for the employee to start the meeting. This is for the customer to join the meeting. It has the password in there. You can see it right here. So this confirms that the integration is working fine and that you can actually start or join the meeting depending on who you are. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video is useful since the Zoom changed some settings so you can go up with the changes and configure your Zoom for your booking online appointments. As always, comment down below if you have any questions. And while you're there, don't forget to like, to share and subscribe. See you in another video. Bye, guys. Bye.